today. It was a bear. <laughs> I've gotten used to COVID, you know, not many people on the road, but today it was a bear. <laughs> I know, I feel like people are like starting to get back on the road and they're like, yeah. oh, now we can start having a little more road rage. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, and I didn't plan the extra time that usually you used to plan, so it's been interesting. I like it. I like yeah, a it. lot of friendly hand gestures. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take did you get, did you get a couple uh, strong arm fists? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, and well placed fingers. Oh, well, well placed fingers. Yeah. Right on top, you know. Yeah, I'm number one. <laughs> it's one of my favorite emojis. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. Um, yeah. Well, Kevin, I definitely appreciate you coming on today. Um, yeah. Thanks for having this me. Is, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. For sure, we get to go through, highlight a lot of things that you guys have. Um, componentry and cabinetry is so important. It is it's becoming more and more important. More and more important. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference between just a stock cabinet and, I mean, a custom cabinet when you when you feel the hardware. Oh right? yeah. It's well, it's every aspect of it. Yeah, I talked it. We're all good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll get into it. Well, welcome to Cabinetry 101. It is 9.15 on Wednesday. I am Stephanie with Abacus Cabinetry. And today I have with me is Kevin Pilcher from Blum. And he is our rep representative here in the Colorado area for all of our Blum needs as far as componentry. And we were actually just discussing why componentry is so important is because it's one of the most underutilized um, things out there. It's the difference between um, a good cabinet and an amazing cabinet. So Kevin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks we really appreciate, me, appreciate it. it. Um, yeah, if you would you mind just kind of diving into yeah, uh, sure. why Bloom? So uh, one of the things about Bloom that is different mm -hmm. uh, sure. than a lot of other companies is the fact that we're obsessed with making things better all the time. We're constantly improving our processes, we're constantly improving our products. Uh, for example, Tandem Plus Blue Motion is a slide that's been out over 15 years, and we're constantly improving on that slide, even though it's one of the best-selling slides in the world. But we're always kind of making improvements because we want the customer experience. When they open that drawer, we want it to feel the best we can, so. You guys get a lot of, uh, a lot of um, nice comments from some of your competitors out there when they come in and they say it's just like Bloom. Don't yeah, you? that's that's the best thing in the world. We we have everything that Bloom has. <laughs> it's so that's flattering. That's the standard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been nice. It really is. But we take that seriously too. Absolutely. And uh, one of the reasons why is every time we design a product, whether it's slides or hinges or lifts, it's really designed with four people or groups in mind: um, a manufacturer. A dealer, the uh, installer, and the consumer. So, if we design something, you know, how's that going to affect the manufacturer? You guys. Absolutely. It needs to be easy to mount. Needs to be easy to work with. Quick. Work well. Interchangeable components. Interchangeable. Yep. Yep. Those are all big things, and so we'll oftentimes make various um, multiple items in one line because maybe it needs to attach it one way and another, or another. For instance, here we have a- This is Euro, our drawer here. This is a drawer. Sides. We have a Euro mm -hmm. style cabinet and a face frame style cabinet. Those are the two most basic kinds. So our hardware needs to fit everything. Absolutely. So when we dealing with the manufacturer, that's what we work on. Um, the dealer, the person who's selling the cabinets, they're not, may, maybe not be the one making them, but they're selling them. They need to have something they can rely on that when they sell it, it's going to work right and it's going to last long. It's not going to shake off later on in life when you've been off. opening yeah. up the spoon yeah. and exactly. fork and knife drawer yeah. forever. Yeah. yeah. You know, after five years, does it work the same as it did the day I bought it? After 10 years, does it work the same? That Those are all big things, you know, the dealer wants to be able to, to stand behind. And then you have the installer. And the installer is the hard one because they're the ones who don't make anything. They don't sell anything, but they have to put it into the house. That's right. And so we are very aware of them and we try to make their life easier by making jigs and other things to help put our hardware into the cabinet easier. And then of course the consumer, and they want something the that feels good. And it's that's good. really the, the, the whole, the end point of it all is, it is how it feels for the consumer versus yep. Yep. everything else out there. I agree, absolutely. 
Would you kind of d dig into this guy yeah. that you've, so you've brought here? We we've kind of gone over the European and then also the face right, frame right. options. Those are the two most common types. Um, we like to talk about slides because quite frankly... This is what you guys are famous for. Yeah. We find, I find this subject very moving. <laughs> so I'm so moved by it too. You are moved by it, yeah. And everybody's moved by it every time. Uh, so we make all Oops. of our slides. Um, we make the tandem plus blue motion here in the United States. And what we've got here is a new version of that slide. Like I said, it's been around 15 years, but we needed to make improvements because of the design changes. Absolutely. We're seeing a lot more people want to do your handleless design where there's no hardware on the face. Well, how do you pull a drawer open when you do that? Well, you got to be pretty creative, don't you? You do. And you so guys have helped us with that. We've, yeah, and you mm -hmm. guys have done a good job promoting those products. Um, so our slides are made so that, you know, they have the nice soft close motion. Um, blue motion or soft close has been such a big deal that I've noticed that it's hit every aspect of every house. And why is that? Well, uh, I was at my brother-in-law's brand new house, just completed the other day, helping to move in. And I noticed the toilet seat even soft closed. <laughs> so it started with drawers, then it moved to doors, and now, now unfortunately, in our the most toilet, important room in the house. The most important, yeah. Uh, Probably the one where we send the second most amount of time. In the office. In the <laughs> office, that's right. So soft uh, close is a big deal, but uh, for the longest time, the only way we could do handleless designs is we had to use servo drive, which is our electronic component. Yep. They're great, they work awesome but sometimes that doesn't fit a, a budget price point. So we had to invent something that would allow you to still be able to have handleless design, to have push to open so that the drawers pop open, and then still be able to offer the soft close. And the durability, and too. And the durability. So we came out with tip-on, which is our phrase for push to open. So with this Movento slide, we're able to offer both worlds. We can offer the push to open, and yet we can still offer the soft close technology. I love it. So we get a lot of requests for a very seamless look. For very the seamless. European yeah, you know the the faces mm -hmm. that people are using are so much more advanced than they used to be. Absolutely. It's become a big deal to be able to to highlight, highlight those. those. Yeah. yeah exactly. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, so we want to accent that as well with the hardware behind. The other thing too is. Uh, the design changes in the community, we're seeing bigger and wider cabinetry. Drawers are bigger. And what do you guys do for your larger components? I mean, before we started here today, we had several large um, cabinetry boxes go out. Right. And I mean, what are you guys doing for that? Well, we have them in the, the drawer parts, but we also have them in doors. And what, how, how large of a drawer can um, the Moventos handle? So the Movento will handle a drawer uh, about 48 inches wide, so okay. that's four feet. When you start getting that wide, there's a lot of um, problems that can occur, and so we've taken the time to come up with hardware that accommodates that. Okay. It accommodates it well, and it works great. And so it will 48 work. inches, and then what's the weight capacity on that? So our standard Movento slide is 125 pound load rating, which is 25% higher than standard out there, and our heavy duty is 170 pounds. I could have gotten in there before Kobo. Could have. <laughs> I never could, so we won't go there. That's okay. But yeah, so, you know, the drawers are wider, but you want those lines to all line up. So now the doors yep. above, they want to carry those lines all the way through. So we're doing bigger and wider drawer, or doors, doors, too. What's the largest door that you guys can handle? We can I know actually, we'll get into that right. later, we, yeah. We, on, our, on our Ventos lift systems, we can get up to six foot wide. 24 inches tall unless we do the bifold and then we can do the 42 inches. So six foot to 42. Six okay. foot, yeah, you, big doors. You What's do the weight capacity on that? We've had some challenges that you've helped work us through with some metal doors that we talked about last right. week. Yeah, it, th that one's a little more tricky depending on the mm -hmm. woods you're using or the materials because sometimes it might require adding extra arms okay. to make it work. Mm -hmm. Um, we can talk about Aventos now if you want. Sure, let's get into it. It's my second most favorite product line. <laughs> and why is that? Because I find it very uplifting. Oh, well, get in here yeah, then. Okay. <laughs> All right, so when I say we find it uplifting, I literally mean the doors lift up. And why this kind of technology is really popular right now is you have great access to the upper cabinet from all angles. 
you know you don't have a door opening out and then blocking your vision of what's inside so you can actually highlight maybe what's inside of the cabinet so for the finished interiors for that kind of stuff and yeah also exactly like nice cutlery addition might be cutlery kind of stuff, right yeah. a lot of times you'll find those the behind glass sets. doors yes. right mm -hmm. uh, so having a door lift up and out of the way is a great feature plus because i mentioned earlier everything's got a soft close we handle that too <laughs> yes you do what do you guys do for short people who just need to be able to touch those doors? Yeah, that is a challenge. So, uh, <laughs> Besides we, go grab the stool. Right. Besides mm -hmm. grabbing the stool, we've come out with an electronic uh, mechanism called servo drive. And we talked about that in drawers, but now we can do it in doors too. And basically it works kind of like a garage door. Ah. We, have a, we have a battery operated switch that okay. mounts to the cabinet. It allows you to push the door and then the door will automatically open, which is very convenient, but like you said. How do you get it down how, now? How do you reach that? So all we gotta do is, from the front of the cabinet, push the switch, it talks to the motor, and then closes the doors. That's amazing. Yeah, we I have mean, this available for all of our lift systems. That really is amazing, because for people like me who like tall cabinetry, all I have to do is jump up, hit it, and then jump up and hit it again. And then I don't even need a stool. Right. Well, and the nice thing is we've also come out with a little adapter. So this is our battery operated switch. Okay. We come up with a little adapter so you can actually take an extra one and mount it somewhere in or a drawer. Or as in, an aftermarket option? As, as an add-on item okay. so that you can actually take that, mount it somewhere low. I didn't have it. I don't have it. Oh, it is. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So literally... You don't have to be anywhere near the kitchen or the cabinet and you can still open and close the door. So I can sit on the couch and whoever's coming over, I can be like, can you get that for me? It's yeah. right there. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Yep. We, then, we do have done? to have some mounted to the cabinet because that's where you're pushing the door usually, but okay. you can actually do an extra So you one. would have to purchase, you have to make sure that you have one on here and then also a second one somewhere else a little yep. bit lower. Yep, or if it's really wide, you'll want one on each side and then add a third one. Is this what was in Matt Lauer's office? No. <laughs> no. I was just checking. Yeah. We won't go there. <laughs> we won't go we there. Not to go there. Absolutely. So like I said, we have all kinds of different lifts uh, depending on which way you want the door to move. Okay. We have a HL vertical lift where the door just goes straight up. This is the most common one where the door just flips up. And we have the bifold and then we have one where it swings up and over. We don't see that too much in the United States because of the crown moldings and designs that people put on top of the cabinet. But more European type. Yeah. Um, we also have angle restrictions so that if you're up against a ceiling, we can actually have the doors stop so they don't hit. We actually top. have some of their um, angle restricting stuff here, but this isn't in um, the in uh, the automatic uh, soft close or open, but it's it does impede the door from opening yep. the entire way yep. so in case you have cap cabinetry left or right of it it is almost always you're going to have a deeper refrigerator next to cabinets yep. or a, a range hood that sticks out yes or a wall that's you know up against a wall that sticks out in front of the cabinetry so we want to be able to restrict the hinge so that the doors aren't hitting yes damaging the finish that you're going to have on the door exactly so Aventos is a, is a big part of our program. So really, you know, you're talking about lower cabinets and your upper cabinets, and you've got it covered. Uh, and you guys all, have definitely covered us, that's for sure. No, you, you guys have been a great partner. We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate all the instruction. Big we definitely called a couple times for a lot of questions and yeah. assistance and help. Yeah. Um, so like I said, servo drive, we do also have for some of these lists, this HK type system, we have tip on so we have the mechanical push to open with the mechanical tip on with the mechanical tip on the problem is you still then at that point have to close the door it doesn't do it on that like okay. servo drive but you could easily get one of these to install it you on yeah you can put servo drive onto any event to okay. make so well hey i just found something i need appreciate it you do yeah, thank you bet, no problem. you guys always have something for everybody kevin i really appreciate you coming in today and kind of discussing a lot of the options that you guys offer with Bloom. Um, it's, uh, we covered the basics. Yeah, the basics, but I mean, you guys are always developing more and always have more for us to learn, not to mention your both customer, installer, 
manufacturer yeah, and it, everything has to hit those, those four people before it will ever be released to That's the market. That's a fabulous yeah. market. Um, oh, I've seen some cool. things that they're working on in Europe right now, which will be mind blowing. This but they're one, many, the many years out. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites, <laughs> definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for coming on. Thank you for um, your time. Please join us next week, you guys, for Cabinetry 101 with Hayfla. We will be discussing lighting with Darren Gonzalez. Um, I'm sorry, were there any questions? No. Okay, awesome. Well, thank, thank you guys you very time. much. We appreciate your time.